Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Kids Connection, a place where we learn how to connect with each other and with God. My name is Audrey Zorik, director of Kids Connection here at Vallejo Drive Church. We are so happy that you join us today. And I want to welcome each and every one of you to another Kids Connection program. Today, we are presenting Kids Connection program outdoors. I like when Sabbath comes because I get to spend some time with you guys playing, singing, and participating. And I miss you guys so much. I wish you were here. Today's lesson, we are going to learn something that we should all be doing all the time. So stick around, get ready. We're going to be playing together. We're going to be singing together. We're going to be praying together and having a lot of fun together. And without any more delays, welcome to Kids Connection. Let's sing our song of the day together. I remember singing this song, the same song, at church with you guys. How everyone was doing all the motions and we had a lot of fun together. I hope you still had a lot of fun singing at home too. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for another beautiful day that we get to worship your name. We ask your presence as we learn more about you and your love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Do you remember when we went to the streets of Los Angeles last year? and we donated blankets and meals to the homeless and people in need? If you didn't get a chance to participate, don't worry, we'll do it again. We were able to help 500 people. Now 500 is a lot of people. 
In today's mission story, we're going to learn about Adra. Adra is an entity of the Seventh-day Adventist Church and what they are doing to help the homeless and people in need in other places of the world. This kind of project was actually created by the government because they need to scale up nutrition and there is a need in Mozambique. Right now, the chronic malnutrition rates are really soaring. They are above 40%. And this is, is generally across the country, although there are certain places where it is higher. In Maputo also, they discovered that it's above 30%, which also includes districts like Bowani. So that's why we feel like it's, it's important that the students should get also part of the meal because they might not be getting enough. When we started, we had our school feeding funded by ADRA International. The other part of the donation was through the food that we are still receiving through Rise Against Hunger. Being part of this project, they receive rice. The rice comes in a packet with soy and dehydrated vegetables. And inside each packet, there is a multivitamin packet within the, the food that we, we distribute. So every time they get a uh, ration size which is almost equivalent to a 700 kilocalorie in supplement to what they get from home. When we started the project, we did some anthropometry where we were weighing the height and the weight of the students and we analyzed it. And then we discovered that 50% of the students were really underweight. That was last year. And we are going to consequently uh, weigh the students. Right now we designed a cohort that we would follow up each month so that we have concrete results to see the changes that are okay. What we have noted so far has been an increase in the number of students. It started with 9,366. Right now we have 13,453 students. And last year when we ended we had 11,656 students. Now we can help Audra too and the missionaries by going to our website graceandconditional.com forward slash kids connection and find a link where you can donate and help the ministry of helping other people in other places of the world. And if you wish to donate to the Kids Connection program, you can just choose Kids Connection or you can send a check to the church and make sure you write on the check and envelope Kids Connection. Thank you. Now I want to remind you that tomorrow at 1 o'clock in the afternoon we have something special just for you. We are going to play kids games online via Zoom. So far, we played games like Treasure Hunt, Guessing Game. Last week, we played Charades. That was a lot of fun, and I hope you guys can join us too. Tomorrow, 1 p.m., and every Sunday, just go to our website, graceandconditional.com forward slash Kids Connection, and click on the advertisement to register for our program. Now, this is for kids only, okay? Now, I like playing games. I enjoy playing games with you guys at home, at church, everywhere. It's so much fun playing games. And today, we're going to play a game right here with In Kids Connection. I'm going to play here, and you guys are going to play at home. This is going to be fun. Now, I want you guys to get ready. Mom, Dad, you're welcome to join in too. Now, today, we're going to play a game called Simon Says. You know how this game works, right? I say something, Simon Says, and you follow. Deal? Everybody knows this game. I love this game. Now, to make it even better, I'm going to call my daughter, Lanessa, to come and play with us. Lanessa, come on over here. So, here's Lanessa. I'm going to give you guys instructions along for, with Lanessa, and you're going to follow the instructions. Okay? Let's give it a try. Simon says, clap 10 times. Very good. Were you able to do it at home? Cool. Now let's try it another one. Ready? Here it comes. Simon says, wiggle your body. Simon says, quicker. Okay, yes, all right. <laughs> okay, now Simon says, jump on one foot. Really good, are you doing it at home? Simon says, jump on the other foot. 
Simon says, stop. Okay. Now Simon says, clap your hands behind your back. Is it hard? Uh, maybe. Okay, Simon says, stop. Simon says, spin around five times. One, two, three, four, five. Make sure you're not gonna fall. You're gonna get dizzy. Whoa, you're good. Excellent. Now, here comes a hard one. Simon says, whistle. We have some birds here at home that they have no problem whistling. They're actually, I, I hope you can hear it, but they're whistling right now. They're singing right now. Cool. Next one. Simon says, jump as high as you can. <gasps> She's even jumping outside of the screen. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! This is fun! Yes! Nice! Okay, make sure you're not gonna fall. Make sure that you have your clear area so you don't you don't fall and you don't you're not gonna hit you're not gonna hit your furniture at home, okay? Okay, here comes the next one. Simon says, tickle someone. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, I can do that. <laughs> okay, Simon says stop! <laughs> now are you tired? Yes? No? Here we go. Simon says, sit down. Simon says, stand up. Simon says, sit down. Simon says, stand up. Simon says, sit down. Simon says, sit down. Aha! Good job. <laughs> Simon says, tap your hands on your legs like drums. Simon says, stop. Simon says, stand up. Simon says, close your eyes. Simon says, touch your nose. Oh, she almost missed. Did you miss? Simon says, touch your head. Simon says, touch your ears. Simon says, put your hands up. Just kidding. Simon says, put your hand down. <laughs> now here we go. If you're inside of your apartment or your home, I want you to open the door, open your window, and Simon says, go outside and scream, Jesus loves you. Are you ready? One, two, three. Jesus loves you! I hope you got to do that too. Did you do it? I hope so. Thank you so much to Lenissa for participating. Bye-bye. Okay, so we'll call her in if we have to play it again. Now, do you want to take the Simon Says game to another level? Yes? Okay. After the video is over, watch the video again and ask your mom, your dad, or any adult that are, that are watching with you to do the Simon Says with you. Let's see if they can do it. Okay? Now, you might be wondering, what the Simon Says has to do with our lesson for the day? Well, in our classroom video today, we're going to learn something that your teacher is going to share that has to do with someone having to follow instructions. What those instructions were and who gave them those instructions. I hope that you find a way to follow the same instructions and do it. Now let's sing our song of the day again as we wrap up the first part of our program and go into our lesson for today.
Jesus, thank you for another Kids Connection program. Thank you for being with us. Thank you because you give us you give us the opportunity to worship your name. We ask now that as we learn more about you and your love and what people in the Bible have done, that we learn how to do it and continue to do it in our lives. Help all the boys and girls that are watching this program, all the adults as well. Keep them safe and help us to very soon be worshiping in Kids Connection in person again. Thank you for answering our prayers and for loving us. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for being a part of another Kids Connection program. I hope you had fun, and we also like to invite you to come and join us again next week for another Kids Connection. Go to our website during the week, graceandconditions.com forward slash Kids Connection. There you're going to find safe activity for kids. You're gonna find videos, you're gonna find the video, the song of the day. This video you can watch it again and listen to the story throughout the week. And you can also uh, watch the children's worship story of the week that is also today. All this information is on our website and it's specially made for you. You're also gonna find the link for registration for Kid to Kid, which is on Zoom at one o'clock in the afternoon tomorrow and every Sunday. Thank you for sticking around and for being a part of another Kids Connection program. I hope to see you next week for another great program. Until then, be good boys and girls. I miss you guys. I love you so much. God bless. Bye-bye. See you next week. Happy Sabbath, everybody. Good to have you here today to praise the Lord and hear the message that God has us to hear. I hope that you've all been well. I've missed you all. Wish that we could be together in a Sabbath school class. Hopefully that'll be happening really soon. Anyway, let's bow our heads and pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for being the king of our lives. Thank you for creating the world and every beautiful thing in it, Lord, and providing for all of our needs. And Lord, we do have many needs at this time, and we want to lift you up our families, and all those who are struggling and suffering with the coronavirus. Lord, you know that they need you to be their hope and their salvation. So we pray for each soul that is struggling with the virus at this time. And please, Lord, also strengthen and protect the healthcare workers who are trying to bring uh, these people suffering through this um, very difficult and life-threatening uh, illness and give them success, Lord. Lord, forgive us of our sins this past week and lead us into a closer walk with you. And we pray for those who uh, might persecute us and who might think ill of us, Lord. We pray that they too would find their salvation in Jesus Christ our Lord, we pray. And now lead us in this study about the commanding king that you, Lord, to be king of our lives and the role that we have to play in your mission. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, my friends. So let's talk about the commanding king. So obviously that's God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. And as a commanding king, 
now that he's our Lord Jesus has resurrected, he has something for us to do. So there's no mystery in really what that is. So let's get into our lesson today and see what our God and our Savior wish for us to do. So let's talk about the idea first of an ambassador. What is an ambassador? Because you're going to see that this is a role that God has for us. An ambassador is someone who acts as a representative. For example, an ambassador from the United States of America is a representative to another country or international organization. The representative has many duties, but his or her main duty is to represent the interests of the United States. Some things a representative might do is negotiate a treaty, attend dinners, help others, assist travelers visiting the country, and protect our country's citizens if there is an emergency in that country. Representatives are very careful about what they say or do and want to represent their country well. They are not just speaking their own words, they are careful to say words that would represent the United States well. Um, let's read 2 Corinthians 5.20 and see how we as Christians might be ambassadors. It says, we are therefore Christ's ambassadors as though God were making his appeal through us. We implore you on Christ's behalf to be reconciled to God. God wants you and me to be ambassadors for him. Today, we'll learn more about our mission and representing him well. So, as you can see, we are kind of considered to be like ambassadors. Here's a picture of one of the United States ambassadors. Here we have on the left, Kelly Kraft. She is the United States ambassador to Canada. And here in the photo, you can see she's meeting with the Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. So what is her role as an ambassador? Well, it's to create a great relationship between the United States and that of Canada. And the words that she speaks and all of the uh, issues that she discusses with um, the Canadian government are to support the interests of the United States and to let Canada know what those are and to try to be helpful uh, to Canada as well. And so if you think about it, we as Christ ambassadors are to represent our God and our Lord Jesus Christ. We are to speak words to others, to show you know, what God and Jesus want um, from us all, uh, which is of course our salvation and our turning from sin, and to represent God well, not as uh, an evil tyrant, but as a loving, compassionate, long-suffering, forgiving uh, Father in heaven. So as an ambassador, that is our task, to represent the desires of our Heavenly Father to those in the world. So let's continue. Let's talk about last week's, um, where we uh, looked at the resurrection of Jesus, and let's go on from there and see what happened after the resurrection of Jesus. So how do we know we're supposed to be ambassadors, and what all does that mean? Let's, let's take a look. So what happened after Jesus was resurrected? Did he immediately ascend into heaven? No, Jesus stayed on the earth 40 days after he was resurrected. He met with his disciples and he was seen by over 500 people. Jesus had completed his work on earth and it was time for him to go back to heaven. Before he returned though, he had a big job for his disciples. They were to be his ambassadors all over the world so everyone could hear the good news about Jesus and the way to heaven. What did Jesus promise to give the disciples to help them share this good news? He promised them they would have the power of the Holy Spirit to help them. As followers of Jesus, we have the Holy Spirit to help us too. We are to be Christ's ambassadors and share his wonderful news until Jesus returns. So 
you know, as um, an ambassador, uh, we're, we are called disciples because we're followers of Christ. And we want people to know the way to salvation. The gospel is the good news that God sent his one and only son, Jesus Christ, to the earth to live a perfect life, to have victory over death and sin, and then to impart that to us and to help us walk in newness of life. Um, here we have a picture of Paul, the apostle, and he is acting as an ambassador for Christ, preaching the gospel on top of, on top of the Areopagus in Athens, Greece. So this was a historical event that occurred in the book of Acts. And the people in Greece, uh, many of them didn't know who the true God was. And so he's sharing um, the gospel with them as an ambassador of Christ, trying to lead them to choose Jesus Christ to be their Lord and their Savior as well. So Jesus goal for us before he was resurrected was to give us his commission. It's called the Great Commission. It's in the end of, of the book of Matthew. And it is to go to all nations, teaching them everything that, you know, he taught the disciples and to baptize them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So what are we going to do? What, what should be one of our daily main thoughts? Everyone in the world needs to hear the good news and have a chance to know Jesus. Without Jesus, they can never have their sins forgiven or go to heaven. Jesus has given us an important job. We are to be a representative of God's love to others, just as he has promised to be with the disciples as they went out to tell people about Jesus. He will be with us and give us the power to share the good news. We can be his ambassadors in the world. Your next step is to be God's ambassador wherever you are. And my friends, you have, we have many opportunities to be God's ambassador. If we open our eyes and open our ears and open our hearts to those around us who don't know Jesus, and need to hear that he is a savior and that he forgives sins and that he's preparing a place for those who love him and that he's going to go and or come and receive us unto himself that where he is there we may be also here in this <clears throat> final image uh, we have a team with a bible <clears throat> and sharing with another friend or someone that she met the good news and praying together and leading the soul to her savior, Jesus Christ, to give her heart and life over to him, that he might be Lord over her. And you know, my friends, this is God's goal for us. It's not just for us to, to know God, and our Savior Jesus, but to lead others, to be ambassadors, to have the heart of Jesus Christ as we go through our daily walk, and to look for opportunities to share the gospel. And this is my hope for you for this day, that you too will be filled with the Holy Spirit, and that you too will be fruitful in God's mission to bring salvation to the world. And let's pray. Thank you, Heavenly Father, that you've called on us as weak as we are to be your ambassadors, to show your character to the world, to speak the gospel, the Lord Jesus Christ, Savior, and to go forth and look for opportunities to do this. So we pray, Lord, that we will be courageous and be filled with thy Holy Spirit and to do your work. We pray in Jesus' name, amen. Okay, my friends. So again, another great Sabbath school lesson. And I look forward to hearing about 
some of your ambassador, um, you know, experiences when we see each other in the future. And I pray the Lord will be with you all. So until that time, we see each other again. God bless. And may the Lord be with you.